Welcome to Cho's cooking show where I'll be cooking meals in under 30 minutes to prep and cook. Ever since COVID-19 got us locked up at home, I think all of us are either like um, watching TV, eating, or ordering delivery or like been experimenting on how to cook. And so here I am, Master Chef after like two weeks of cooking. Now I have my own show. It's called the Chio Cooking Show, lol. <laughs> So today we'll be doing steamed fish in uh, candle style. Let me check what kind of fish we got, okay? Oh, it's garupa! Today's dish is steamed garupa in candle style. So the fish and the ingredients are kindly packed and sent to me by Ahua Kelong. <laughs> Thank you so much. Everything is so detailed. But like they label all the ingredients for me. It should be quite easy lah. I mean, it's just steaming a fish, right? How? Okay, confession, I've never steamed a fish in my life before. But then, how hard can it be to steam a fish, right? <laughs> just steam fish only, I just put inside a steamer lor. So the boss of Ahua told me that it takes 8 minutes to steam a fish. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna do 7, man. Let's beat that score. Obviously, that's not how cooking works, chill. <laughs> if you do it at 7, it's gonna be undercooked. Coriander, soya sauce, ginger, coriander root, rock sugar, sake, eggy seasoning, garlic oil, fish sauce. Okay, this is my first time seeing a fish. Oh my god, it, it looks too real. I cannot, I, I don't even dare to touch. Ah, it's so big. Oh my god, it's so freaking fish. This is why I eat fish fillets, because I it has a head. Oh, it feels like my fish. Okay, I used to, I used to rear a catfish that, and it grew to about the size of this fish. My catfish was called Bubbles and it was like this big and it's like the cutest thing in the world. It would just swim around with this like cute little fish. Like, it's so cute and oh my god, I feel like I'm cooking my own fish. Oh, I cannot do this. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, look at the fish, the fish, the fish. Never cooked a fish in my life before. So who else thinks that when you smell soya sauce, right? The sauce just like gets stuck in your nose and you smell it for the rest of the day. Like the soya sauce is gonna be there in your nose and you're gonna smell it. Wow, the smell of the soya sauce is like whew. Actually, I put on aluminium foil for what? <laughs> aluminium foil can steam on, right? Let me Google. Oh, okay. Okay, so... So I don't really check my kitchen supplies most of the time and... Got so sweet or not? <laughs> I've come to the end of the aluminium toy roll. So I think I'll just, I'll just use whatever's left. Well, lucky still got enough to steam a fish. So I use olive oil because it's healthier. Out the first so. oh, the fish! Oh, it's out. The fish is out at the back, lol, not the cat. So, Ahua Kelong seafood is all quite fresh because it comes from their Singapore Kelongs. Yeah. He has very kindly butterfly cut the garupa for me, so I don't need to do anything. Lah. I think it's the scale really, because it doesn't look like there are any scales on it. It's just uh, oh my god, is a garupa a sun hock? Cause I nicknamed my husband sun hock Cause he looks like a sun hock, like so dumb It's very fat and meaty After putting it um, in a plate or on the aluminium foil right I'm going to place it in my steamer to steam for 8 minutes This one I'm going to put inside the garupa in Why? It means it's heavy man <laughs> Alright, just nice Okay Okay Okay, so step two is prep a bowl and pour the following in and stir for 10 seconds gently. So the ingredients you need are rock sugar, Maggi seasoning, fish sauce, then um, soya sauce, sake, <gasps> like drinking, no, 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 keep for the fish. I also need to put in uh, 375 uh, milliliters of water, but I have no measuring cup, so I'm going to... 375 um oh. wait measuring cup wait 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 
roughly I have a water bottle <laughs> that has these things so I'm supposed to put 375 ml of water into this mixture as well Whoa, that's a lot of water man So much water on the... <laughs> Legit ah. So the third step is to heat pot with two dashes of oil So one dash, two. I think that's two dash lah Agar aga lah, also cooking oh, very important is go by feel <laughs> I have to stir fry coriander root and ginger in pot so let the oil heat up a little bit more. Okay, let's pour in the coriander. Oh my god! I hate cooking. Oh, oh my god! Now the ginger won't come out, it's just stuck together in two layers. Separate yo! He's like a boyfriend and a needy girlfriend. Just like me and my husband. Oh! Okay, Master Chef chill yo. Stir fry until fragrance appears. Have or not? Okay, he says have. And then the next step, pour in the bowl with all the other ingredients. Please don't pia pia pia, I sure scared one. <laughs> Stop laughing! Okay, so I understand why you need so much water because you need to boil it now so it becomes a broth. Uh, so very cow, you know, the, the flavors are very intense. Bring broth to a boil. So the description uh, from the boss uh, to me uh, says <laughs> until it looks like mini volcano eruption. That, that looks scary, but okay. Holy oh, shit! Eruption. Okay, once it becomes a mini volcano eruption, we need to simmer it. Means lower heat to minimum for five minutes. So this one is okay. It is boiled. Okay, okay, okay. Then, wow, wow, you can smell it there. The the fragrance of the sake. Ooh, ooh. It legit smells like those kind of uh, seafood restaurant. The fish, ah, uh. it's just so. Ooh, it it feels like it has flavor, but it's very healthy. It's a very light. Healthy, fragrant, like organic smell. Wow, this is some high quality thing. Okay, so we off the fire, and I'm going to put the fish in the Tupperware, and then I pour the the broth over. So one way to check if the fish is cooked, you use a chopstick and you slide it through. So you should slide in very smoothly, like tofu with no or little very with very little resistance, lah. So that's how you check if your fish is cooked. Slide it through. Whoa! Smooth! Okay. So now I'm gonna put the fish in the Tupperware, okay? Set. Okay, the fish is in now. <laughs> Stop laughing! Okay, wow, it's a very plump fish. Really great, awesome. So now we have garlic oil. Yeah! The last time we gotta cover the fish in the broth. Mm. Mr. Grupa is getting spun out. Wow, it's good! Okay, the finale. Just to add a little artistness. Coriander! So put the coriander on top. Voila! Wow, that's nice! Wow, it really looks damn professional eh. It's so easy and simple to do. It takes like just less than 15 minutes eh. Okay, so including prep, I think this, this dish will take like less than uh, 30 minutes. We have come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you give me a thumbs up. <laughs> and thanks for sharing my first, my virgin fish cooking experience. And thank you Ahua Seafood for sending me this beautiful plump garupa. I feel so accomplished now. Do you think it's nice? Open what? As in, uh, now 
it's a lady down on one side, right? Yeah. I actually did, I cut it in a way that I can open it up like a button.